there are a number of emerging technologies to be aware of as you plan your digital transformation, so much so that it can be overwhelming. But what exactly are those emerging tech trends that you should be aware of? I'm gonna ask some people here today to find out. My name is Eric Kimberling, I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world reach their third stage of digital transformation success. And right behind me is our annual Digital Stratosphere Conference. I'm with a number of industry peers and experts and other speakers and thought leaders. So what I thought would be super interesting is to go behind the scenes and interview some people offline outside of the conference to find out their thoughts on what some of the emerging tech trends are that they're most excited about and the things that you should be aware of as you're planning your digital transformation. So let's check it out. So Jordy, what is the number one tech trend that you're most excited about right now? I would say just AI and all the different possibilities that it can grow into, whether that's um, you know, your day-to-day -day life or your job and, and how you can enable your business. Great. So Becky, what's the number one tech trend that you're most excited about right now? For my company, it would be any kind of dashboards and, and uh, basically reporting at the next level where people can actually get in there and analyze data because they haven't had that ability to do that yet in our organization. So that's what I'm most excited about. Great, thank you. <laughs> so Carrie, what's the number one tech trend that you're most excited about right now? I have to pick AI. I think there is so much potential to solve really tough problems by using technology like AI to solve for sustainability issues, you know, user productivity to really speed up operations. And there's just so many possibilities with AI. And it really lends itself to all of us being, you know, paradoxically more human because we get to automate some of the difficult aspects or more administrative things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis and do more things that we love or find enjoyable in work. So I just think that there are so many different ways in which AI is going to impact all of us, especially within technology. Yeah. So Dom, what do you see as the biggest tech trend that you're most excited about? Well, after today's uh, talk with Walker, that uh, unified name space, I think it's called, yeah. and uh, One Edge Architecture seems to be, and that's sort of anti-ERP in a way, but that looks very interesting from, yeah. uh, from my side, very new for me but it's kind of a disruptor, isn't it, in a way? Especially um, manufacturing and industry port. Yeah, know. exactly, yeah. So very exciting. Very good. So Ro, what tech trend are you most excited about right now? AI, artificial intelligence. Why is that? Because it's going to change the future and yeah. how we do work now. Yeah, mm -hmm. great. I, th I think it'd be explosive for any organization to get ready for that change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. So Kristen, what tech trend that's happening right now are you most excited about? You know, candidly, and uh, I'm probably out of my league, but it is data fabric. Because really, um, if you look at it, data is what we really need. What actually, it helps us make the most effective business decisions, obviously, right? And what the ERP is becoming is if you look at data as the car, getting you where you need to go, ERP is becoming the fuel, which just reorients things. And with things like data fabric, I mean, we all talked about the data lake, but the fact that all these different applications can access this data fabric and pull what they need out really opens up all sorts of possibilities. And it's actually kind of exciting and a little bit beyond my reach. I'll be candid. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm most excited about because I think it's really taking things to a more seamless, more outcome-based use of technology. Uh, I think you actually said earlier that I shouldn't, oh no, who was it that said I should just, my cell phone didn't come with instructions. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that is what Data Fabric is going to do for us. It's going to limit the number of instructions we have to just use what we need to be successful in our jobs every day. Great. Okay, so Mehdi, what is the tech trend that most excites you? I probably would go with AI, but I wouldn't. Why is that? Um, everybody's talking about AI for sure, but 
I think the most tech trends that I see recently happening within ERP vendors is opening up their platforms and try to communicate and you know integrate with each other and try to get the best of breed technologies and seamlessly work together. I think nobody talks about that that openly, but I think that's a trend that is going to be emerging more and more with ERP vendors. So Emma, what do you think is the number one tech trend that you're most excited about right now? So I think something that we're going to see a lot of conversation about in the next year is total experience. So rather than looking at like customer experience or employee experience, user experience, any of those terms that we hear a lot of buzz about that are kind of separate entities, how do they come together and how do we create a holistic ex experience from how our customers are engaging with us to how our employees are servicing them and really looking at it in more of like a continuum rather than these separate entities within the organization. Okay, great. So Marcus, what's the number one tech trend that you're most excited about right now? You know, Eric, I think the, the, the number one tech trend that I am most excited about right now really deals with artificial intelligence and the utilization of artificial intelligence in both you know, the ERP software environment with respect to the functionality of it and then also on the implementation side with the integration of uh, the product and how you're going to utilize artificial intelligence to help you be more efficient in the implementation of the software. So Amanda, what do you think the number one trend is in the industry that you're most excited about? I would probably say chat GPT. And why is that? I just think it's interesting and it's controversial and a lot of people have a lot of opinions about it and what its place is, you know, at work or in the educational system and all that kind of thing. So I like anything that's new and different and controversial because it gets people talking. Yeah. So yeah. Very and it's cool. and it's really cool. It's a cool tool. It is very cool. Yeah. Very cool. What do you see as the biggest tech trend that you're most excited about right now? So for me personally, I'm a big Internet of, the thing, Internet of Things guy. Um, I have a bunch of smart home things around my house, and so the ability to control those things, my house is really exciting, and I think that's just going to be infiltrating business more and more, a lot of manufacturing, a lot of smart cities. I'm really excited to see where that goes in the next few years. Yeah. So now that you've heard from the experts, I want to hear from you. What do you think? What are your answers to these questions? Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And for more information about digital transformation best practices, I encourage you to download our 2024 Digital Transformation Report. It's a report we publish each year. You can find that on our website by scanning the QR code or going to the links below. So I hope you found this information useful and hope you have a great day. So Mitch, are you nervous to be on camera? Very. This makes me very uncomfortable. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. <laughs> Technology, nope, don't like it. I don't like it. Sorry, was that like a ridiculous answer, though? No, it was great. No, I was no, one, no one's answered that yet. No one's answered oh. no one's, no one's said. Me is our annual dazzle. Hmm. Oh.